Hey guys, welcome to Brilliant Kathar. Here we are discussing the third mechanism from the chapter Alcohol, Phenols and Ether and the mechanism for formation of ether from alcohol. Let me introduce one example here. This is the one basic example which is mentioned in NCRT textbook. Ethanol to ethoxy ethane. What is ethanol? CH3, CH2, OH, right? How we can convert ethanol to Ethoxy ethane. What is ethoxy ethane? CH3, CH2, O, CH2, CH3. Ethoxy ethane. How will you convert eth ethanol to ethoxy ethane? Its mechanism they ask you for example. The basic reaction is ethanol heating with an acid. We studied the same mechanism before. Ethanol when heated with an acid at 443 Kelvin. Careful. At 443 Kelvin mean it undergo dehydration. But this temperature is 413 Kelvin. If you want an ether, dear students, if you want an ether from ethanol, means ethanol to ethoxy ethane, temperature is 413 Kelvin, 413 Kelvin. Let's study the mechanism by three steps. Same compounds, okay? Ethanol, we are going to convert into ethoxy ethane. Okay, let's take in step number one, ethanol. What is ethanol? CH3, CH2, OH, you know, oxygen contained two lone pair. What we are heating the ethanol with? An acid, right? So let me take the H plus ion here. Let's react with the H plus. What going to happen here? Of course, like the previous mechanism, same step number one, you know, the lone pair is means electron rich H plus indicate electron deficient so of course oxygen give its lone pair and take the H plus so we will get CH3 CH2 then O H lone pair one more H and positive charge why again oxygen get positive charge because it lost electron to take the H plus ready this is step number one you know what is the name of step number one Taking proton, taking a proton H plus to alcohol, what you can call it as protonation, protonation of alcohol. Here to the alcohol, proton get added. That is called protonation of alcohol. Step number one, ready. Let me take the same compound for the step number two, CH3, CH2, O, H, H, long pair plus. This is the compound we have. In step number two, what should happen? Just think about it all. You have initially with you ethanol, but your product is contained ethoxy ethane. Means two, eth two ethyl group is there. Correct or not? Here you have two carbon, but here in the product you have four carbon. How it happened? One more ethanol joined. Okay. So to this compound, one more ethanol joined. What is ethanol again? CH3, ch 2 OH dears, this and second ethanol is ready for the reaction. So what is going to happen here? Carefully listen. Carefully listen. Okay. You know oxygen carry a positive charge here. Oxygen carry positive charge is highly unstable. Highly unstable because oxygen is an electron negative element. So in order to cancel the positive charge on oxygen, this second ethanol, the lone pair attack on this carbon and this bond break. Which bond is breaking? This bond is breaking. What is this part? H2O. So H2O out. Okay, let me write the byproduct first. H2O out, dears. What is your main product? Carefully listen. I'm starting from this CH3, okay? I'm starting from this CH3. So we'll get CH3, CH2. Now to the carbon, who making a bond? Oxygen, okay? So let me write the same. Oxygen. This CH3, CH2, this bond already broken, water is going out. And this CH2, this carbon making a bond with this oxygen. This oxygen carry a hydrogen. Can you see? Let me write the hydrogen below. Already one lone pair lost. So it get plus charge. The other lone pair already there, right? And this oxygen connected to what? One ethyl group also, CH2, CH3. What you can call for this step number two? You can call it as... This attack of nucleophile, a nucleophile is attacking, right? And by the way, water is removing. So you can call it as a dehydration process. Attack of a nucleophile and dehydration is happening. Step number two. What about step number three? What is our product? You know, our product is what? 
ethoxy ethane ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 so you can able to see one extra thing is remaining there ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 we don't want this h right so as usual like all the three mechanism removal of h plus is the last step so let me take the last step here ch3 ch2 oh lone pair plus again again ch2 ch3 and here in last step what going to happen this h this h is this h giving the electron to oxygen and h is goodbye as what h plus ion so what do you get the product ch3 ch2 o and ch2 ch3 this is our product ethoxy ethane by removing h plus so what you can call for the last step number three removal of h plus what you can call deprotonation so by the way you can convert ethanol to ethoxy ethane so first step here ethanol react with the acid don't forget the temperature okay 413 413 that's a preparation of ether so ethanol react with h plus first you will get proton that's called protonation of alcohol this alcohol took the proton that's called protonation of alcohol in step number two one more ethanol reacting you will get the removal of water dehydration happen in last step the hydrogen the h plus the proton remove and that's called removal of proton what you can call it as deprotonation and you will you can convert ethanol to ethoxy ethane so don't forget to practice mainly three mechanisms from alcohol phenols and ether chapter one is one is ethanol to one is first one ethene to ethanol first study all of you ethene to ethanol what is this mechanism called acid catalyzed hydration of alkene to alcohol second mechanism opposite what is the opposite one ethanol to ethene ethanol to ethene what is the mechanism called dehydration of alcohol to alkene last one how will you convert ethanol to ethoxy ethane ethanol to ethoxy ethane which means alcohol to ether these three mechanism must be practiced before your board examination because mostly two to three mark question you can expect from this one so don't regret later study well all the best